We're with the Red Court. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Keller. I'm the new guy. New guy and the old guy. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's talk about what's up with the Red Court. You guys are touring your ass off. Just yeah. a brief update. What's we, going um, on? We actually weren't touring our asses off until just uh, yesterday we kind of oh, started. Okay. We've been Shit. home since the middle of December. We toured our asses off the last however many years. But um, we finished up a 10-week bar tour at the end of last year after yep. OzFest. And then um, from the middle of December, we got to take time off to write and record. So we actually just finished recording yesterday. And we've just been up before that. We were just practicing and writing. And so we're in the studio the last month. Just started the tour of Cannibal Corpse yesterday for five days. Get off of the tour and like the next day go over to Europe, and which will be his uh, first debut with the band. And um, it's funny if you look. Um, we we got this shirt that I don't even know if we're gonna sell it today or not because it's all like the uh, you know you can only have so many t-shirts. Yep. Uh, there's a cartoon that this guy drew of the red cord on one of our shirts, and our old guitar player on the shirt shows a striking resemblance in, so we're just gonna use the exact same cartoon. Yeah, just I'm just I'm a little taller than him though, so I'm gonna draw some legs on below. So cool. But then again, Brad's also taller than me, our drummer, and I'm taller than him on the shirt, so it's just it's all yeah. whacked up. Alright. So you guys been working on new material, you guys feel pressure with that, with the changes, what's going on, everything going on? Well it uh, it was actually the out of any lineup change which we had more than a few. It was actually one of the smoothest transitions where the guy that was leaving the band we knew for a long time, he's still playing, he'll be playing tonight and the next couple of days with us. And uh, he's actually helping us get him trained. The, the guy that was leaving, Johnny Fay, um, he was recording on the record, helped train him the whole time, like the, the last couple of weeks in the studio. And it, it was the most seamless transition ever because, you know, we had our ex member helping out yeah. as opposed to usually it's yeah. that. Most people, give, uh, most people give two weeks, he gave like seven months or something like that. Yeah. Awesome. It's kinda, it, it, so, I mean, guy. John, it, it's very, it was a, grace, a very graceful exit, to say the least. Yeah. All right. So, no pressure at all? I mean, the cast. I, I mean, as far as, as, far as pressure, when, when you think about it. Um, so, you're complete now, you're saying, with the album, you're done. The, what do you the have album done? is finished. Uh, it needs to be mastered still. Yeah, it just has to be mastered. Album. But, like, it's. it's Finish being mixed and all that stuff. It's coming out July 24th. Title? Uh, it's called Pray for Eyes, which uh, I'll just fill you guys in on this. Yep. Give us um, there's a song title, Pray for Eyes, P R A Y, um, that the album title is P R E Y, just because it looks cooler, which goes back to the roots of the band <laughs> really because the reference for the red chord came from C O R D, but it looked cooler with an H, so we figured that we'd be um, totally ambiguous and irrelevant and uh, just keep the trend going. Where'd you record? You can no, it's just all about looking cool is what I was going to add. But I uh, recorded at uh, Tracks East with a guy named Eric Rachel um, up in New Jersey. Yeah. Handsome fellow. Yeah, very handsome fellow. How'd that go? Were you pretty prepared entering the studio too? Yeah, I, I, this is uh, more prepared than we usually are. Uh, it's at least there's 14 tracks on the CD. Usually, you know, we, we have uh, five up until the week before, and then like somehow cram another six together. This one we actually had pre-production, and um, you know, we had 11 songs about a month out, and then we wrote the other three, you know, pretty far in advance, uh, you know, kind of within that month. So, I, I mean, it, it definitely when you start touring, like, and you're a little band, it's like you. You have for your first record as much time as you possibly need to get as many songs ready as possible. And then with clients, it was like, well, you're waiting too long in between records. Like, you know, so all of a sudden you don't have all your songs done and you got to set a release date. Now, with this record, it was like, okay, so you guys have been on tour and you're still on tour. Walked out a date way in the future, which wasn't even that far in the future. And it was like, just. Pretend like you have songs, and the, or that you're going to have songs, and that you'll be ready by this date. And it's then you have to kind of make it happen, which is, uh, I mean, it's everyone, everyone's got ulcers and stuff like that because, you know, and when, when you're on tour and you have two or three songs maybe done, and then you're like, oh, we got another 11 to write that we have no idea. I mean, what happens if you go home and you have like a writer's block or something like that? Yep. 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 Talk about signing with Metal Blade, how it all came about. Um, 
we like them more than everyone else. And uh, it's all right, you know. It's, it's worked out. It's, it's been cool. I, I gotta say, the metal blade. When, when we were searching around for deals, which I mean, we've been on metal blade now for years. It's, yep. it's kind of funny. I, I don't remember life before metal blade really, because I, I think I was about seven. Yeah, and uh, yeah, when, when we signed with Metal Blade, it was like, they were the one label that didn't put any sort of limit on what they expected. Like, we got a lot of, like, you guys, face it, you guys are like a death metal grindcore band. Uh, you're probably, if you're the biggest band of the genre, going to do 15,000 records. You got to face facts. Like, don't be, you know, because, I mean, we were really passionate about our stuff. So a lot of times, like, we'd end up getting a little bit multi about, like, you know, why can't you come up with this? Why can't you bend the rules with this? And the deals kind of like were what they were. 